Hi guys, I've waited so long to film this video and I'm so excited that I finally reached that point that I am able to. I got rid of my cellulite and now I have all of my tips and tricks that have worked for me. And honestly, I'm gonna be pretty brutal like what's gonna work and what's not. And most of it's just being honest with yourself about like, have you actually done these things or are you just like sitting around eating chips complaining that you have cellulite? So if you are ready for a brutal awakening, then stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And thank you for watching this video. So tip number one is to not bother with body weight. So what I mean by that is scrap the whole idea that you're going to lose your cellulite by just doing body weight exercises like crunches and lunges and things like that. If you want to speed up the process, what worked for me is buying resistance bands and buying weights and actually adding that to the exercise. So one option is to just purchase ones on Amazon, which I did. They were like 25 bucks, super inexpensive, and they were a great resource. They came with four sizes, just different strengths. So I use that to do various things like kickbacks and squats and basically just anything that I normally would do body weight style, but I just add those for extra resistance and that really helped get rid of the cellulite on the front of my thighs. Uh, another thing that you can do is if you don't really know what to do with the bands, I go on YouTube and I look up and I'll actually type in resistance bands workouts for abs or for your butt or for your legs and like be very specific with what you want to do. Of course, you can also do a full body like workout as well with resistance bands. There's so many resources online for free. So definitely do that. Scrap the idea of the body weight because that didn't work for me. I was doing lunges until I was blue in the face and I still had cellulite. All of a sudden I bought these resistance bands. I used the weights and then like gone. So definitely use this trick. My next trick is to use a cellulite roller and don't spend a fortune on one. I bought mine on Amazon for under $10 and it works just as well. Essentially, you just need something that is going to roll on your skin and break up the packets or packets, <laughs> the pockets of fat and the ones that like have no spikes at all, like just like the rollers that you use maybe in yoga and things like that, that won't work. It has to be something that has that little spike to actually get out those pockets. So just as a heads up, you don't need to spend a fortune. They all do the same thing. Um, however, if you want to like make a routine of it, I always use coconut oil on my skin to make it easier to like glide. I do it after my shower at night and the key is to roll up towards your heart. So that's always like the motion that you want to use. I love mine. It actually kind of feels like a massage, like it doesn't hurt or anything like that. Um, and it was made a big difference, especially on my butt. I always use it on my butt. And I just find it's like harder area to target when I'm not going to the gym and I just have dumbbells. So that really helped for me. So definitely invest in one. Don't spend a fortune. You don't have to. Um, and it worked great. So the next tip is to change your diet. So I actually notice when I eat refined sugar and gluten, the next morning I will wake up with cellulite, especially on my thighs. And like my upper stomach is where like the most kind of concentrated areas are for me. Uh, anyways, so I actually write stuff down. So that's how I found out that gluten and sugar were targets for me because I would write down what I ate and then I realized I'm like, wow, okay, this is the correlation between eating that stuff and having cellulite in the morning. And when I would avoid those things, I'd wake up and like I didn't have any or it was very, very minimal. And I was like, wow, it honestly does make a huge difference. So your target or like your trigger for cellulite might be something very odd. And honestly, like, gluten for sure like is probably the biggest factor for me so if you eat a lot of gluten and you're heavy in carbs and all that stuff um, it just might actually affect your body more than you think uh, so maybe to get a food allergy test see like all that stuff like if you should be eating that in the first place I think not I still eat gluten sometimes but like gluten's not good for you like that's just my own opinion don't come at me but like gluten just doesn't work for me and my body and my inflammation it just isn't healthy for me specifically it might work fine and not affect others but like for me heck no so anyways if you eliminate those things or like cut them back you might notice a huge difference so definitely write things down works amazing works like a charm so I saved this one for last because it's probably the most boring, but honestly, maybe the most important one, but it is to drink water and like lots of it because cellulite, when it's dehydrated, like in that state, it actually shows way more. So if you are all like flourished in water and like lovely and hydrated, it probably won't show as much. So do you know what? It might just be like an easy fix for you. Maybe you just need to drink more water and how easy would that be if that was the case? So I just wanted to share that tip just in case that was how easy it is for you. Unfortunately, just drinking a lot of water wasn't like the case for me. I needed to implement those like resistance bands and writing things down and all that. Um, but 
for some of you, maybe just drink some water. Add some fruit, make it cute, like... But like, make it fun to drink, and then I'm obsessed with drinking water. I mean, I'm obsessed with water anyways, but for some people, they like need a little like spruce up to spice it up, but water. Drink it. Okay, guys, so that concludes the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, like, for those of you that are battling with cellulite and stuff, like, don't be so hard on yourself. One, it always looks worse to you than it does to others. And, like, I just found I was so hard on myself and I was always crying about it. And, like, stress and all that stuff doesn't make it better. And, like, it won't, like, make anything faster. So, obviously, keep that in mind. Like, be just proud of yourself for any accomplishments you have. And, like, be proud of your body and all the things it does for you. And, like, that will go a long way and it'll just help your journey. And it won't feel like you're, like, waiting at the clock to be, like, when am I going to get rid of my cellulite? Because sometimes it's just hereditary too and like you just have to accept it um, obviously this is tips to help reduce those things in those areas and I hope it works but I hope you also love yourself on the way because that is super important uh, but anyways like this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget I upload videos every single Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so thank you guys so much love you so much Bye.